Wow, it's time for another show full of tips and ideas from the sales growth leadership expert, Dean Akers. Known for his experience in hyper-growing companies and creating cultures for high-performance teams, here's Dean. Well, welcome to episode 46. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. Uh, we're approaching the near year end of 2018. Uh, this has been, like I say, a great year for for me uh, in helping people across the country, as a matter of fact, across the world with this podcast. Uh, we've kind of morphed it into more the selling leadership ninja. Uh, I've been doing the ninja stuff for years and years and years, and and uh, we've had big success with folks calling in and emailing in that they're now ninjas. As a matter of fact, I actually have a ninja certificate I'm giving away now to folks that are, are kind of proving out their ninja abilities in sales and leadership. Um, this week, uh, we're going to have a, a, a really uh, cool lesson on uh, uh, the walk by sale. But before I do, I want to just share with everybody, I'm really kind of proud of this. And it's my second book. Uh, it's called Self Talk, Think Like a Child. Uh, it's going to be available on Amazon probably in the next six weeks. Uh, we're, it's being put up on Amazon. It's already copyrighted and everything. So uh, we're excited about that. Uh, if you have any interest in the book, uh, email me at dean at deanacres.com. I'll try to get you a copy, I'll send you out one. Um, and, um, but at any rate, this week I want to talk about uh, something that um, that keeps coming back to me when I'm working with teams. And uh, it's called the walk-by sale. And I've had people ask me what that is. Well, years ago, I was, I think I was 30 years old and I was getting on an airplane to fly to New York City. And I happened to be flying first class. Uh, uh, and this gentleman got on this airplane, uh, just an extremely handsome man, looked like his act was together. And I, I don't know, I just, he sat down next to me and I go, I don't know who this guy is, but he's probably got something going on. So I tried to build dialogue with him on the flight up about two and a half hour flight and probably 40 minutes into it they had brought us some breakfast and stuff uh i finally got to talking to him he's from west palm beach and uh and, and he finally shared with me what he did he he owned art galleries art galleries high-end art galleries all over the world and i i thought wow owning art galleries all over the world how how hard would that business be selling very expensive paintings and everything and I said, how do you do that? I mean, how do you how do you gain customers' trust? How do you how do you how does it all work? And he goes, Well, Dean, I'm gonna share with you a tr a tip that I use in all my locations around the world. And it's amazing to me more people don't understand it. And it's a breakthrough for our company, and we're highly successful. And it's very subtle. Now you gotta know by now he's got my attention. Here's this very successful gentleman flying up to New York City to one of his galleries there and he had galleries in Aspen, London, Rome, all over the world and uh, and so now he's going to share with me this 30 year old young man his secret sauce if you will to his success so here you go and this is so so simple uh, as I've deployed it across my companies over the years and sort of having learned it earlier before that in another way uh, it has created huge successes so here's how it goes he says dean the thing you've got to remember is people's space and he said we developed a thing called the walk by and the walk by starts out by picture yourself walking into a retail location in this case it's a retail play but it also works in business to business but picture yourself walking in a retail location you walk in the first thing you notice here comes an attendant streaming across the floor and they walk up to you and they go can i help you now if you're listening or watching ask yourself exactly what you now say everybody i've ever asked this question goes no no, not now. Thank you. I'll look for you if I need something, but I appreciate it. No, thank you. And they walk away. And now you're like looking around and maybe you walk back out or whatever. Here's what he said and taught me. He said, Dean, our people walk straight for you 
when you're when you come inside our place. When you come inside our place, they walk straight for you. They never make eye contact. They walk past 180 degrees if you were to hold your arms out, and they go past that three that 180 degrees that's in front of you to where they're behind you a hair and they dust something or move something. I'm going, really? And he goes, here's the magic. When we break plane and have not engaged them, 90% of the people turn around. When they turn around, we look back at them and we go, oh, hi, welcome. How are you today? And dialogue breaks in and all of a sudden a immediate relationship is established and it goes on from there where the dialogue goes on they start telling we ask questions you know what are you here for I'm looking for my condo or I'm looking for a gift or whatever but here's what he taught me is that people have their space and when you try to invade their space people are guarded of their space when people invite you into their space, it gives you infinite relationship immediately. So how does this work? How does this work in business world? How does it work when you're trying to sell? Oh, no, by the way, when these people invited his people in, now they found dialogue, they found the needs, they set up what they need to do to get the customer what they wanted, Consequently, it turned into sales, and this man had highly successful art galleries all across the world, and it was all through the uh, advent of the walk-by that he used and has since subsequently taught me. Now, I use that in all my businesses today, and I'm going to give you some examples. One of the examples of walk-bys, and you see violations of this all the time on LinkedIn, the program LinkedIn, where people will try to friend you, and they'll say, hey, I'd like to become a acquaintance or whatever on LinkedIn and let me know when I can come by and make a presentation on your digital or this or that or whatever. When you get those, do you immediately go, wow, I'm so happy they did that. I think I'll reach back to them and have them come meet with me. No, you want to take and comment about somebody. So when you go onto LinkedIn and you're wanting to comment, look the person up and say, something to him. Hi, I'd like to connect with you on LinkedIn. I see that you um, have done a lot of skydiving. Love to learn more about skydiving. Anything that causes him to reach back to you and go, great, like to connect with you. Here's how it works on cold calling. And those that have listened to any of my previous shows know that I'm an absolute ninja on cold calling. When you cold call, most people want to go in and hand brochures, um, you know, tell them about their products, um, make sure the people know what they do, and, and I don't believe in that. I'm a big advocate in, in not puking all over the customer. I was trying to see if I had one of my my puke uh, protectors here, and I do. Here's one of them, and remember, these are available. All you have to do is uh, reach out to me at dean at deanacres.com, and I'll put one in the mail to you. So when somebody comes in, or you're going in cold calling and you see the receptionist. And as you're introducing yourself, you notice something on the table of the receptionist or how she's dressed or something. And you ask her a question like, how long have you been with the company? Immediately, you can watch her body language and go, well, I've been here 10 years. And you go, wow, that's awesome. What have you found to be your biggest successes here? And as they start opening up, what they're doing with this through this process is you're breaking plane with them and now they're inviting you in. They're actually inviting you in. And then you use this process to learn more about them. And in fact, they'll introduce you to the other people. You ask me, I meet the CEO of the company. And they go, do you have an appointment? I said, no ma'am, I just wanted to introduce myself. Well, you have to have an appointment. Could I leave them a note? Yes, so you could. While you're writing the note, you're touching base with the receptionist. Again, it's all about being invited in and avoiding people's invasion of their space. And why do they put receptionists at most um, most businesses when you're going to call them business businesses? 
we've heard the term gatekeeper. Um, the receptionist is there maybe to answer the phone and stuff, but they're generally there to block people from just coming in and getting to people within the organization. So picture the walk by when you're when you're trying to sell something and and the difference between and the subtleties of being invited in versus trying to barge your way in. Once you break plane with a receptionist, or in this case in retail, once they broke plane with the person that walked in and they turned around and you could watch the body language and they invited them in, the whole dialogue changed. So when you're calling on business to businesses, you want to make sure that you're going in and asking questions and trying to create relationships to break plane and get invited, operative word, invited into their space. So what does this mean to us? In 2019, we're going to work very hard together to really amp up and get you to the next level of being a leadership or a sales ninja. What I want you to do this next week is practice getting invited into relationships, not thrusting your way into relationships. And that comes about by asking great open-ended questions, shutting up, listening, and getting them directed so that you can make things happen with them and, uh, and uh, go from there. So what I want you to do is practice getting invited in get in, invited in and in 2019 we're going to really 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 work on this so we're going to go after the big accounts in 2019 we're going to practice getting invited in you're going to master the walk by and we're going to have a lot of fun in 2019 so thanks again this year for tuning in we have one more show after that show, uh, we're going to be into 2019, and we're going to make your 2019s particularly big as a reward for listening to us this year. So till we meet again, have a wonderful Christmas holiday. Uh, I won't talk to you till after Christmas. And uh, remember, 2019 is going to be awesome. We hope you enjoyed this week's show. Subscribe today to our podcast and send questions or thoughts to help at deanacres.com. Also, visit us at www.dnacres.com to listen to prior shows and view helpful videos. Also, great tips to download. Thanks again.